Fishing from docks is a very effective way of catching redfish, but you have to fish where the redfish are. Now, redfish are structure fish, and they're going to follow the shorelines, which is a form of structure, and they're also going to remain under the dock and close to the structure. So there's a lot of wasted area, just desert land around docks where you're not going to catch redfish. And I notice a lot of my friends and people that I know when they're fishing for redfish from docks, they cast way out into the into no man's land and they're hoping they're going to catch a redfish. So let's dissect here where the redfish are when you're fishing from a dock. The best place to find redfish is what I call the redfish highway. That's the shoreline. Now, redfish want to be in about 18 inches to two feet of water as close to the shoreline as possible. So see this natural shoreline here? We've got some, some trees that have fallen in. We have rocks. We have some seagrass. This is where the bait fish are going to gather. You want to look and make sure this is where the baits are because you'll be able to see them, whether it's little minnows, blue crabs, mullet. Um, we can look over the side and we see lots of bait fish down here. But this shoreline, or what I like to call a redfish highway, is the roadway that the redfish like to swim. They're going to go up and down this shoreline here. Now, when you're fishing from a fixed position like a dock, you have to, you, the fish have to swim to you. You don't go to the fish. So fishing on the highway, these redfish are going to drive up and down, and they're going to find your bait. So you want to come as close to the shore as you can, staying in about 18 inches of water where there's bait present, and that's going to be the way the fish are going to swim. Now, if you're fortunate enough to be fishing in an area where the water's clear, like here, I would like to watch and see where the first redfish swims, and that's the depth most of the redfish are going to be swimming. Now, early in the morning, late in the evening, you're going to have more activity, a lot more swimming up and down. As the sun comes up, the fish are going to slow down and they're going to start gravitating more towards shade and structure, not swimming quite as much. So you want to fish under the docks. You want to fish under these dead trees that are out here. But these redfish highways are just fantastic ways to catch redfish. And so now let me show you another great place. That's under the dock that you're standing on. Now, if it's a busy dock and there's lots of foot traffic, and the water's very shallow, the redfish obviously aren't going to be under there. They're going to be spooked out. But if you're in deeper water, five, six feet, a lot of current, dirty water, the redfish won't mind the foot traffic and they're going to be under it. So it's almost like a T. The redfish are going to be up and down the shorelines, which concentrates them. The redfish that are coming out from deep. Now, obviously, let me back up a little bit. Redfish are everywhere, but you want to fish the concentrations of them. That's going to allow you to catch most of them. So the fish can't go any shallower than the shore. They run out of water. They like to be in about 18 inches of water. And so as they come in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to force them in shallow. Now the bait fish want to be just shallower than the redfish. So they're trying to get away from the redfish, the trout, and the snook, and the predators. So, so the redfish know this. So they're going to get as shallow as they can to get these little bait fish that are trying to escape from them. And they're going to be up and down this redfish highway. Okay, so now we're at a different dock, a different situation, scenario. We've got some mangrove trees here. It's a little bit deeper. It's a shorter dock. Um, it comes out about 30 feet, and it's about four feet deep down at the bottom. And at this particular area, there's no grass. It's kind of oysters and muddy bottom, a lot of mud minnows and little crabs. So the redfish are going to act very similar like they were at the other dock we were at where it's a big shallow flat and a longer dock the redfish are going to be going up and down the shoreline the redfish highway the great concentrator and they're also going to be under the docks there are redfish out here in this in the, you know there's redfish everywhere scattered but they're so scattered you're probably not going to catch them targeting them if you're going to target them you want to fish under the dock close to the structure or along the shoreline on that redfish highway that they're working on. Now it's a little difficult to fish under a dock um, if you're fishing from the dock. So if you come out really quietly, I've got a slam shady on here. If you come out really quiet, you can dissect the dock, let your bait sink all the way to the bottom. Don't use a top water plug. I wouldn't really use a spoon. I would use something I could work slow, like a slam shady or a power prawn that you can put some doctor juice on. Let it sink down to the bottom and fish it kind of slow, close to the dock, and also fish up and down. So this dock's kind of short, so it's hard to fish up and down it. But if you're at a longer dock, make your cast. Don't cast out from the dock. Cast parallel to the dock. Cast out along it, and when you retrieve your bait, 
you're going to retrieve it really close to the structure where the redfish are. And as the day progresses, they're going to get tighter and tighter to that structure. Um, another, you can be creative too and fish from the shore and cast out to the dock. But the redfish are going to be close to the dock and close to the shoreline. And, um, and I, I feel like a lot of people are misinformed in their fishing where the redfish aren't. Now, let me show you a few of my favorite lures. Obviously, you know, we've got the Slam Shady here with the jig head, super simple, put some Dr. Juice on there, redfish or bottom feeders, they're scent feeders, so they like that scent. Um, really easy, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. You can put a, a power prawn on there too, or a gulp shrimp. Then you can fish the docks, fish the zone. So if you're fishing that, the uh, like, let's look this way here. If we're fishing parallel to the shoreline, cast as close to the shore as you can over and over and over again. 